Hey there, today I explain you the best pocket amp from Parma. The base pocket amp is um, super versatile and um, I will tell you uh, some functions of it, not everything in detail because the, it's it's huge. Yeah, It's just that little box here but it's huge. Um, Okay, so number one is it's an headphone amp. Um, I needed that for my vacations and that's the reason why I bought that. And here comes the base signal in and you can choose between an active base or a passive base. So there's that little switch. Um, then when this one is activated for your headphone amp, you can dial with the EQ, the sound, in whatever you like. And then it, it's very interesting. This here, drive, is more or less the input gain um, or the, the signal of the preamp, if there would be something. Um, then blend between uh, the um, pure bass signal and that acute signal. Then we have saturate. This is more or less a uh, compressor and volume for the overall signal. Okay. So here you can put your phones in. And this here, the aux in, is for your whatever smartphone, um, um, iPod, whatever. So it's your second signal where you can play with or practice with. So that's the function headphone amp. And then this one can be as well um, an cueing pedal for your audio interface so when you don't want to have the pure sound of your bass um, um, on your headphones and your um, audio interface you can shape it with these EQ settings and with those one below okay then this one can be as well a DI box so here comes the bass in like always and here is the balanced DI out signal. So that's pretty cool for the stage. And uh, for the stage as well, this one can be an EQ pedal and it can be an FX pedal because here you can choose between a clean sound, which is untouched from any effect. And then we have overdrive and fuzz. So this is interesting um, and you can choose if your di out signal goes uh, pre or post yeah then on stage this one can be used as a switch for muting the signal for what reason ever i don't know but this is possible as well and then this one can be um or can be a simulator for a cap. So this goes vintage, which is more midish, or modern for um, more highs and more lows, or untouched with flat. So if this pedal here would be your only one, that would go directly into the PA with the balanced DI out and with a simulation of a cap. You don't need a cap anymore, maybe. Huh? Okay, then you can send all those settings and effects to the amp and uh, you can choose between a lift or ground signal or grounded signal. It has battery and if not, you can use your power supply for that um, with nine volts and that's basically it what that pedal can do it's, it's quite a lot so 
one would use it more for the stage use and um, some would use it at home for recording or for practicing or for an effect i don't know so this is 150 euros it's super solid it's made out of metal it's super reliable the sound of it is super decent um it it doesn't sound or feels like that it would be cheap it's not the way so um for me this is a keeper and i don't need any other pedal at home so this is that what i'm using right now and for the next sessions so that was the review about the parma bass pocket amp there is another parma pocket amp but for the guitar and this one is um it's not super new but it's one of the freshest pedals uh parma offers nowadays okay so see you soon for the next video and goodbye <laughs>